All right, class. Today's lesson, we're going to be doing some one-dimensional arrays. This should be able to assist with the assignment that I've given you all concerning the currency conversion. So we'll begin by by defining what is an array, which you're supposed to know because a lot of you all have done programming one and object-oriented programming. But array is really a sort of sequential index. Um, elements having the same intrinsic data type. Um, I would want to begin by declaring array by using the dim statements and I'm going to declare a non-dimensional array or a one-dimensional array with five elements. So I'm going to start by just saying dim um, and I'm going to call my um, my argument well, array in this case and I'm going to set my number as four. Now this element index um, four which is going to give me five elements unless if I um, specify option base one in this action if I set option base one here and I declare this in the public area where it will specify the index to start as one so my array argument would be dim array five uh, let's just tidy up this program a little bit and put in the sub function sub assign array and I'll have n sub let us X and copy and paste and put this array inside this argument here. And now I'm going to proceed to write my elements of my array. So I'm going to say array 1. I'm going to equal this to, well, I could say January. I'll go ahead and say array 2. And I would equal this to February. Well, I could just put Feb. I can just copy and paste this instead of just continuously um, typing the same thing. I'm just changing numbers in between. So I'll have array 3 because I need to show at least um, the elements within the array. And I'll have February. I'm going to just abbreviate these words March, April, and the favorite month of the year, May. Class, don't forget May the twentieth is my birthday. See so if you feel free to buy me a gift. You know. Uh, nonetheless, we're gonna message box all these arguments within the array, and I'm not gonna print it out to um to a uh, cell, but I'm gonna actually print it out in a message box area. So I'm gonna say the array element one. What is ever is in that element, I'm gonna put an ambassand. To reference my AND statement, and I'm going to separate it by commas, and I'm going to actually do the same thing for all the other elements. All right, I'm going to change them over to one. You see the nifty tool of copying and pasting. A lot of stuff you could do with this, you know. I like Format Painter. Format Painter is like the best. You know, um, the best in his arguments. And I'm going to end this sub here, and I'm going to actually run this and see what we get in this array element. Right, we have an error here somewhere in this. Just going to check it. All right, I'm actually seeing the error in here. Oh my goodness! Ah, oh, yeah, we programmers just do this. And let me take out this, um, this thing I put on and sign here. So I have to and everything in between it. I don't know why it is I put a comma in the first place. Like if a C plus plus program or Java or something like that, I'm creating. All right, so I have all these arguments in place, and let us see whether or not it is going to run out of the screen. We'll print voila our first array elements the numbers inside of the array a array one is in the index one is the index of the first element of the array and as I said before you know we did um uh, a basic um or we could say in a um option base one all right for your homework I want you all to print this out not into a message box but do it and display it in a cell right I don't have to put it in different cells. You can just put all this element into one cell. And that will be your homework. 